Okay, we've looked at our characters. I've chosen my character Sticky. We've looked at the size function here and how you can change it. But now it's time to look at backgrounds. And the background is very important because you can use all of the Adobe defaults in here and you can then share your video to the Adobe Online video editing tool and that all works fine. But if you're wanting to put a presentation together that's got information in the background, you're going to need to use green screen. So you can come over here to custom color. Don't try and use transparent. If you use transparent, that seems like an, a really simple function, but Adobe won't let you, unless you've got a pro account, download a transparent backgrounded video. So you've got to use green screen. So I click on custom color here, and my background changes to green. You can click on custom or swatches if you've already got them. If you click on, you want to click the grain you want, you use the slider here to the one you want, and then choose the tone, it doesn't really matter. But that is my green screen background, and that's now going to allow me to make each of my 10 to 15 second long little clips that are part of the scenes, of each of the scenes of my presentation. I can add my audio to Clippy here, and then I can, um, in CapCut, use the green screen function to layer together my background video or information and images that I might be using for my presentation and have this character here, Sticky, um, be my narrator of my presentation. So let's now get on to downloading our videos with the audio and using CapCut to edit them together. You can see now I've recorded some audio on my green screen background and my video is now ready to download. So it's these little clips that we're going to accumulate together and we're going to then make those into our video. So it's simple. If we're going to go to edit them in Adobe Express, we can do, click on here, but it doesn't have that green screen function. So we're going to download them and click on download to do that. Okay. That's good. It's, it's trying to encourage me to go to um, Adobe Express to, to do that. It's been downloaded for me here um, on my downloads folder. I can collect those together in readiness for doing them in CapCut. So we're all good, ready to go.